laptops. As they get older, they seem to get slower, and this can be due to many reasons, and today in this video I'll be showing you a few ways to potentially spice up your laptop and bring it back to life, but um, these are not guaranteed, it's just potential ways, meaning it's possible. So if your laptop slowing down is not due to too many hardware issues, then it, this will do it for you. Anyways, let's roll the intro. What's that? We don't have an intro? Oh, um, tell HR to hire a guy to do the intro. What's that? We don't have an HR department? Oh. Um, well, let's just get to the video then. There are many reasons a laptop can become slow, least of which is hardware, um, and hardware, uh, just as apps become more intensive, that's one of the biggest killers of laptops and whatnot. So like a laptop from 2006 or earlier is not going to be able to handle some of our modern laptops. Kitty, stop it. Uh, um, anyways, hardware from 2006 or before is not going to be able to handle some of our more modern programs. Like, could you imagine Chrome um, running on a 2006 laptop with only 512 RAM, 512 megabytes of RAM? That'd be awful. Um, so, one of the main ways we can um, try to alleviate this issue is by fixing the software itself because a lot of times software become bloated and di uh, difficult and just more resource intensive than it needs to be and one of the reasons for this is bloatware and bloatware normally goes hand in hand with um, manufacturer installed software that's not needed and bloats up your system but it also goes with any software that is just majorly resource intensive for no real reason um, and you don't need. So, um, the first way to, there's is two parts. The first thing you need to do to get rid of bloatware is go into your programs and features and then uninstall any programs that you already have that you uh, want to get rid of and they don't really seem right. That's the um, part one and you can enter programs and features either by going to your control panel through the file manager, or you, um, if you're running Windows 10 or 8, you can right click the start menu and at the very top you'll see programs and features, then open programs and features, and then you'll see remove hardware or remove uh, programs and select that, and then you can go ahead and uh, do it through there. The next way is to open task manager, and the easiest way to open task manager is control alt delete, and then you'll see task manager in the security settings and uh, just select task manager and then you'll want to go to the tab um, if you're it running uh, Windows 8 or newer you'll have to do expanded view which is uh, view more details or something like that and then you'll see a tab that says uh, startup and that is all the programs that start on boot and that'll really slow down your system a lot and make it so it takes like 10 minutes to use when you first start up so when you go to start up uh, when you go to that setting, you'll see two options. Um, it'll say enabled or disabled and go to the programs that you know you do not use and actually pretty much every program there you can go ahead and turn off at startup and you right click. Um, then you'll see disable and try to disable as many as possible or the most high impact ones for damn sure. And that is the quickest way to try to alleviate some of the issues. Um, some of the other ways is to reinstall Windows and you in Windows 8 and 10 you can uh, there's a setting inside settings which is reset PC and basically you want to select that and then um, make sure it doesn't change your pro or it doesn't delete your files I would still recommend backing up all of your files before this happens or else it can delete files and you don't want that to happen um, the other way is to use a USB drive or a um, a, a CD that came with your laptop um, and that will also reinstall Windows but that one you'll have to make sure you've backed up all your files to another source so like an external hard drive or a uh, another computer um, 
those are the easiest ways to make your uh, computer run faster and cleaner. Then there's the uh, changing hardware. And when you're changing hardware, um, hard, mechanical hard drives, uh, as they get fuller, they slow down and then older hard drives are just slower. So what you're gonna wanna do is exchange um, your hard drive for something called an SSD. And those are kind of costly, but uh, 60 bucks to get a uh, 240 gigabyte or something like that uh, SSD and that will really improve your speed of your device and boot times and things like that and then um, you can upgrade your RAM as well if you're at only have like four gigs of RAM um, four gigs is actually pretty okay unless you're doing like uh, Chrome or you're trying to do more resource intensive uh, applications but if uh, you have less than four gigs, you should try to upgrade that. Um, and then you can upgrade to eight gigs. You don't really know, need to go past eight gigabytes. And if you're still having slow, then realistically, you normally need to just throw the laptop away. Um, if 240 gigabytes is too small for an SSD for you, you can use your SSD as a boot drive and then take your CD-ROM out. And instead of using your CD-ROM, um, you can put another... Uh, an optical drive filler and put an SSD inside that and, or a hard drive inside of that so you can have a hard drive and SSD so you have um, mass storage and then speed. Um, if you're still having issues you can try cleaning your laptop um, and that'll be just blowing all the dust out of the vents because overheating can cause bottlenecking which will uh, lag down the system a lot. Um, and then finally uh, if none of that works, um, some of the older laptops, you can actually upgrade the CPUs, but be careful to make sure um, you have enough power and heat dissipation to actually upgrade your CPU. Um, and at that point, really uh, upgrading your CPU, you might as well just throw the laptop away and get a new one. But I hope this uh, method, methodology, helps you speed up your laptop or even your PC. This is just how it works. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it uh, useful, please drop a like. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. And if you didn't fall into either of the previous criterion, please tell me why down below. And if you disliked it, obviously go ahead and dislike it and tell me why down below um, so I can improve my videos for the future. Thank you for joining me. This is PG Tech, signing out.